What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out Pine, a game that I've been waiting for for a long time. Kind of an action RPG simulation game that takes place in a sprawling, beautiful universe. I think we're going to have a really good time today, so let's dive on in and get this thing done, shall we? Let's give our first impressions of the Piney Lands. The Piney Lands of Pine. So here we are, all settled into our new body. Let's take a little run around and see what happens here. Oh my goodness, there we go. All right, so we're running around. Feels a little bit like Fable. That's kind of what it reminds me of initially with the first go. Got some sprinty boys over here. We've got a grand cone on that side. Should I pick that up? I don't know if I should pick up the grand cone. Why not? That's somebody's grand cone, okay? That's somebody's grand cone. We should take care of it. There's a little pine cone running around that if we don't rescue that thing, he's going to be like, Hey, where did my grand cone go? And then you're just going to be stuck having to have a hard conversation with a child like, Well, grand cone got stepped on by a moose. You know, it happens. We're almost done with the preparations. Ilma and Aidwin asked for some more resources for the treehouse. I would ask your brother, but I can't find him anywhere. Even more resources. Yeah, not sure what exactly, but please go see them. Yeah. Off you go. Okay, well, let's run off and go grab some resources. It says he's over here in the treehouse. Oh, I thought that lady was hanging for a second. You saw the rope, dude. I was like, whoa, this took a dark turn real fast. I don't know it's going to be that kind of game. Apparently, we're getting grim dark out here. Right on time, Hugh. We wanted to call the treehouse done, but the rocks it stands on are so brittle that we wanted to consult with Gary, and he wouldn't listen. Could you get us some more stiff rope and stuff cloth for some extra fortifications? Gary should be able to help you with the marwood and stiff rope, and I believe Luya was folding some stuff cloth near the washing spot. On it. Those hitches, though, whenever I get out of a conversation, I wonder what's causing those right there. I don't know if that's, like, on me and my system, or... Ooh, gravel moss. Yeah, it seems like whenever I interact with stuff, we're getting a little bit of a hitch. Mm, are you the guy I need to... I don't think you're the guy that I need to talk with. Dude, I'm running barefoot right now across the stony lands. This dude's probably got the bottoms of his feet are probably like gravel. All right, let's grab that grand cone right there. Game's purdy. It's a looker. It's very, very stylized. What's up, man? Uh, Hugh, I'm kind of busy. Can I help you? Ilma and Aidwin need some stiff rope to fortify the house. Even more. Stiff rope doesn't grow on tree... Well, you know what I mean. The treehouse isn't stable enough, they said. Nonsense. Our houses are as strong as ever. I mean, if they insist. I'm too busy preparing for the ceremony, but you can use the marwood, to the marwood on the crate in order to make some stiff rope for yourself. Tell them this should definitely do it. I can't wait for today's celebrations. Alright, let's go do it then. You've got an idea. These are concepts of items that you can create for yourself. So we can press escape and go to the crafting tab to craft ideas when we have the required resources. Okay. Sounds like an okay plan. Grab that right there, and then... Where's our crafting at? There it is. So we've got an idea. We can make one of those. So there's the rope that we needed in order to make the treehouse. Treehouses are pretty rad. I've never had a treehouse myself, but maybe someday I'll have a super awesome treehouse that's got full-on internet hookups and stuff like that so we can, like, hang out and play some multiplayer games while at the same time being high off the ground in a tree. Get some gravel moss, too. I'll take that as well. What's going on over here? Got some of that good stuff? What's up with you? Hey, Hugh. Hey, Luya. Do you have any more stuff cloth for the treehouse? I'm too busy with today's laundry, I'm afraid. Did anybody ever teach you how to make the stuff cloth for yourself? Maybe you can craft it for Aidwin and Ilma. All right. Let's get the stuff cloth idea. How do I make it? What goes into it? We've got stuff cloth. Moro hay and gravel moss. All right. Let's do it. Done. We made the stuff cloth. I'm officially a weaver of the fields. 
Let's head on back and turn this thing in. All right, guys, I've got your stuff. What am, what is my reward? I get like this. I get. I bet you I get the fiery dragon blade plus seven. Thanks, you. Let's hope this does the trick. It'll have to do. Our trees haven't been growing as fast as they should, so even Marwood will be in short supply soon. And perhaps it's time to explore the lands below. We're not going into the out to find more. We all know that's not an option. In any case, today is about celebrating the completion of this wonderful new treehouse. Let's wrap this up and let's have the ceremony. Hugh, I can't find your brother anywhere. Could you get him to come to the ceremony? He's probably in his corner drawing out all that nonsense. All right. Well, let's go find our brother, who is apparently in a corner drawing all that nonsense instead of running around doing gopher missions wearing butt ropes like we are. Hey, buddy. Hey, Hugh! Gary had me carry logs around all day, so uh, I retreated for a bit. I think I just spotted another one of those white and slimy creatures below. If you squint your eyes hard enough... Nah, thanks, I'm good. <laughs> you should never look away. There's so much to explore and see. Well, not if it's up to Maria and Gary. Yeah, all they care about is their treehouse and ceremonies. There must be more to the world than this, right? About that ceremony. It's starting kind of soon. They wanted me to come and get you. Yeah, well... There's still some time. Remember that strange construction I found that I told you about? I think I have an idea on how to improve it. I don't know, Mom. You know what Marlo always says about straying too far from home. Come on, there's still some time before the ceremony. Meet me at the harvesting site whenever you're ready and I'll show you. Alright, so it looks like there's some goodies laying around over here. Definitely gonna take those, just in case I end up needing them in the near future. I don't know if I'm ever gonna make, like, boots or armor or anything else, but that would be a pretty swell acquisition. I notice we have an energy bar, and we have a health bar, so that means, like, we're probably gonna be doing some combat out here. Like, I can't punch or kick or, like, throw hands or anything right now, so I can't work on that left straight, you know what I mean? But maybe someday. I knew you'd be interested. Yeah, while well, I'm doing this for you. We should quickly eat something before we go exploring. Grab some of the meager yam over there. That'll replenish your energy in no time. Okay, let's go get it. We got some meager yam on this side. Yup. While adventuring, always keep an eye on your energy. Everything you do will deplete the energy little by little, so eating is vital to keep your efficiency. You can eat any food that you find in the world to replete your energy. You can also pick one item to pin in a slot for a quick bite by holding Q. Okay. Sounds good. Let me get all these yams over here. Uh, we will pin... That. There we go. Perfect. So we've refilled our energy. And now we got five meager yams left. I'm not a big yam guy, me personally, but you know what? You do you if you enjoy yams in your life, okay? All right. Let's see what we can find. We'll be back before Marla's even turned her ancient head. Last one there's got to eat two bowls of Marla stew. Ugh. Okay, where do you run off to? Is there like a cave over here or something? Oh, there's more meager yam up here. Yeah, let's take that. Let's grab a little bit of them goodies over here. Mm, I don't really see... Oh, there's more of them over here? What is that? Oh, we can get common wheat. Nice. So we're basically just like raiding the public coffer right now and putting people into a cold, hard winter of starvation. Because we're greedy and we deserve to have all the wheat, damn it. I've been hauling around all these butt ropes like all day long and nobody's even said thank you. Somebody needs to say thank you. Like, this is not a belt right here, okay? This is a climbing apparatus when needed. I don't see anything over there on that side of the cliff. I'm kind of a loot hound, so I'm looking. All right, here it is. I cleared away some of the bushes and found that round thing hanging over there. I figured we probably need to hit it with something, but throwing didn't really do the trick, so behold, I made a slingshot. I'll let you do the honors. Let's see what happens, okay? Now you have both melee and ranged weapon slots at all times. You can swap with the X key. All right. Sounds good to me. Oh, we we have opened the contraption. It's officially Zelda time. Let's see what we'll find. A mom, wait. You know something bad's inside of there. Like we're gonna release some kind of fern gully slime that like eats the world. I'm telling you, this is not gonna work out for us. Now my brother's nowhere to be found either. I hear flapping noises. 
They're gonna be bats in here, huh? There's gonna be bats. I know it. Do I have like infinite ammo for my for my? Sh oh, it's a training center. Nice. Check it out, Hugh. This looks like a real adventuring tool. There's another one. You should go grab it. All right. An old pine wood sword. Yeah. Look, if you swing it a few times, it'll look really powerful. Yeah, there we go. Let's dance around. Doing what we do out here. And if you hold it behind your head for a bit and then release it, you'll do a much heavier attack. All right. There it is. Much heavier attack. I'm going to pick up that dull rock right there because I assume that's ammo or something. And we could kick in between those attacks and those slimy white creatures won't even have anything to do against us. Yeah. I mean, I suppose that's an option. And what if we combine some dashes with the swings? There's endless possibilities. How do I dash left shift and left mouse to do a poke attack? Oh, there it is. Okay, there's like a timing to it. You gotta tap it. You can't hold it. Okay, I found it. Check this one out. Did our brother just get crushed by a boulder? Rocks fall, the party dies. A uh, mom, you all right? I'm fine. Just kind of lost my balance. Whoops. That was exciting, but I'll need to get out of here. Can you see any way out? There's a wooden door with a small note next to it, and it says left, left, right. Any ideas? I'll see what I can find. All right, left, left, right. To the left, to the left. So it said left, left, right. So it's like left, left, right. Yes. Hey, it worked. Let's see if I can open yours now. Hell yeah, there we go. Man, I'm glad we got out of there. What do you say, you wanna go a little bit further? I don't know, Mom, that was pretty close. We're both still here, right? Come on, let's eat some food if you've got anything, we can get along. All right. I'll be honest, there's probably a reason this place was boarded up. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy right now and put like a damper on our extracurricular festivities. But that being said, oh my goodness. Yeah, those hitches, man. They got to figure out a way to get around those. Can I pick up any of the rocks or anything in here? No. Definitely getting like some frame spikes, I guess. And I'm not sure what's causing it. Another torch over here. Lighting looks good. What's up this way? Anything important? I guess I'll just fall on my head for right now. Check this out, Hugh. Those figures. They look like humans. And that tall one, like, whoa. He must be an adventurer who came from the out. And he seems to have left them again at some point. Could they be the humans of our cliff? Our ancestors? That can't be true. We've never been in the out, right? Well, who else would have made this drawing? It looks like they closed off this cave behind him. Don't you get what this means, Hugh? It means humans were in the out at some point. We can return there someday. There must be more to those lands than the scary creatures were told of, right? You should tell Marla what we found. We should hurry to the ceremony, I think. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to stare at this for a bit longer. I'll be right behind you. Okay, well, let's return to our tribe. Well, we've got a sword now. I kind of feel like we should leave that here just in case, because I feel like they're going to notice. Like, you, you disappear to go find your brother and come back with an edged weapon, like... Maybe somebody's gonna be like, hey, where did you get that from? Our people haven't had weapons in eons, you know? Just like, it's just one of those things. You're incorrigible, Imam. Taking young Hugh with you? Mother knows what could have happened in there. You know you should never leave the perimeter. I'm sorry, Marla, but we discovered what we did. I have no interest in whatever nonsense that you found. You're very well aware that this was off limits and that it should stay inside the village like we always have. But that's exactly... Now get back to the village. You're already late for the ceremony. Everyone's waiting for you two. And you were right, little brother. She sure wasn't happy about that. We really do have to tell her about what we saw, though. Unless she maybe already knows. She's been here much longer than we have. Only one way to find out, but first, let's hurry to the ceremony. 
All right. Well, let's roll out. No, 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 Roll out. Okay. Now that we're all finally here, the ceremony can finally begin. Thank you, Marla. As tradition, I'd like to thank everyone for their efforts. It took a bit more work and resources than usual, but we did it again. Our new house stands tall and strong. We shall continue to expand the village. Our next house shall stand right next to this one. It'll be even bigger and more beautiful. I would now like to call forth Ilma and Khan to officially claim this treehouse as their own. And after that, we feast. No, but it ain't Ugh. I think I'm gonna throw up if I smell another bowl of that dry stew of hers. I don't see why Gary's so obsessed with it. It's almost like he wants these ceremonies just for the stew. He sure eats a lot of it. So look at that. Another round wooden treehouse. Aren't we creative? Mother forbid trying anything new for a change. If I ever become chief, we definitely try something new. That was the creepiest wave ever to wake up to. Like, I can walk into that creepy wave, but I can't wake up to that creepy wave. There's a very, very different verbal qualifier right there. You've come from above, have you not? I always did have a hunch something must have been brewing up on that cliff. I didn't really dare to imagine it would be humans. Dangerous place, that cliff. Here we call it the unstable cliffs, and for good reason. I can imagine the shock, fella, but you're not dreaming. Both of us might be trapped. Here, follow me. Okay, we got some water, we got some cattails, got some other little things going on. Got our little bit of marwood over here that's fallen from the cliff. Definitely take that along with me, since that seems to be what everything my people make is made out of. It seems like they rely pretty heavily on the old marwood. Can I swim or do I die in water? Oh, I can swim. Nice. Okay, good. I hate it when games don't let you swim. It's obnoxious. I love swimming in games, so I'm glad to see that. Water should not be an instant killer. I had the bad luck of being here when that rumbling started. I'm sorry, but who are you? Name is Oth, one of the Tambas. We travel, we study, we practice politics, and sometimes we're stuck. <laughs> I'll need to get this bridge fixed to get my Alpha font back up there, so here's a suggestion. You help me get some marwood and stiff rope for the bridge and some food for the Alpha font, because, you know, she's hungry. And I'll get you something for that blockade right there. Something that I think is going to be your way back up. Looks pretty sturdy, but I recently invented a thing just for that. Okay, well, we've got the marwood. Now we need some stiff rope. I think that was what was made out of the marwood, was it not? And then we needed to find some of the... We've got currant. I don't know what currant is, but we'll figure that out. I think they mean like currant, like jelly maybe? Oh, it's actually like a plant. Okay, I learned a new thing today, unless that's just like a made-up plant. If that's a real-life plant, though, I definitely learned something today. I guess even if it's fake, I learned something. Damn, I've failed at my never-ending quest to remain ignorant. Happens to the best of us, chat. Another brother down. Just out here learning things. Against the better judgment of, of me. Uh, let's go back over and we can craft, maybe. 
We'll see if we can make some of- yeah, we got the Maro Hay, so we can make some of the stuff cloth. We've got stiff rope right there, so how much stiff rope did I need? Two stiff ropes? Okay. We'll make one more stiff rope and see if that helps out. Perfecto. Let's bring this back on over to the Alpha Font and see if we can get out of here. There we go. Neither of us are strong enough to actually rebuild this, but I'll find somebody who can. Here's something to get you inside the cave. It's called an explosive keg, and it's not subtle. Hit it with a projectile, and it'll blow right up, so be careful with it. Okay, so we've got a deployable explosive keg. Does it, like, have a preordained spot over here that I can put it on? Alright, so you can deploy certain items into the world by using Q. Okay. Is it, like, contextual? Oh, nice. Okay, well, we can do that right now. So there's our explosive keg. I need to get up to a spot where I can actually, like, shoot it. There we go. Knock that thing loose. Find a way back to the unstable cliffs. Let's do it. I Hopefully him and his alpha font will get the bridge all nice and rebuilt while I'm gone. Be efficient about this. While I'm adventuring, you do some fixing. Alright, so we got ourselves an elevator over here. I think I know what we're supposed to do with this. Kind of light torches on our way through too, just in case. Oh, I thought maybe this came out right above the bluff where we found that picture, and I was going to be like, ah, so it took us down to like a lower area. Ooh, it's like a weird newt. It's kind of cute, though. What? Doesn't seem friendly. Wish a mom was here. He would know what to do. Guess I'll have to fight it. You're damn right we're going to fight it. We've been playing for 20 minutes, and we haven't murdered a single damn thing. Do you understand how things work here at the Nerd Castle at all? Ow. Well, that didn't work out. Wonder if the slingshot does anything good. Looks like the slingshot might not be what we want to use to get rid of this guy. There you go. Get him with the stab attack. Perfect. See if I can light him up real quick before he gets another attack off. We've already taken enough damage. Oh, he made such a sad noise when he dies. He's kind of adorable. He's like a little leopard gecko almost. He's kind of cute. He's got like a little mustache. What is this? Get out of the cave room. Okay. I don't see anything around that I can stick inside of there. Maybe it's this little torch over here. Yeah, there we go. I didn't even see that. I just thought it was an environmental thing. Alright, so we'll shove that in there. And the door comes open. Oh, we're headed on back to our family. We're making it out of here. Yup, drop that bridge on down. All right, let's get moving. I, it looks like we're actually nowhere near the top of the cliff, so unless we've got a pretty steep incline, which we do, this might be challenging. Now let me get my, oh, this take us back. Okay, it did loop back around. It did exactly what I thought it was gonna do. Let's eat a little bit of food real fast. There we go. Food's all up, we're energized, we're looking good. Maybe we hit a little bit harder because of that energized buff? I don't know, we'll have to play around with it and do a little bit of science to figure out what it does. What it do do, man. Hey guys, it's me. I fell all the way down a cliff. Mother's mercy, you're safe. We thought we lost you for a moment. Are you hurt? How did you get back? Did you fall the way into the out? I'm fine, but my head hurts a bit. But I met like this wondrous creature, Oth. He lives in the out. I feared as much. Did he hurt you? Were you attacked? No, no, he was kind. He helped me get back here. He also knew about the bad state the cliffs are in. Where's a mom? I have to tell him about what happened. Hugh. The collapse wrought horrible havoc. Luya, Aidwin, and Iam didn't survive, and neither did he, Hugh. But he must have gotten away, right? He jumped away. He's got to be down there. We found him, Hugh. He must have pushed you away from the danger. We're so, so sorry. I, I don't believe you. He, he's got to be around. A mom is strong. I mean, we pretty much saw him get smushed by a tree. I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope. Like, if they said they saw a body, like, it seems to me as though... They're probably correct. This is his map. He was going to map the whole world. You, Betten Chip, look, sorry, that 
Uh, Hugh, please come back to town. We know what you're going through. We have to start rebuilding, and we'll need everybody's help in that. A mom would have helped too. No, a mom would have made sure we would find a better place to live than these cliffs. Hugh, there is no other place to live. The out isn't an option, and it never has been. That's not true. We told you. Humans were in the out before. Don't believe the nonsense drawings you see. We're too weak to simply walk into the outskirts. Please, just come back to the square, Hugh. We're gonna figure it out. See, that's my guy right there. He chooses adventure over a boring life doing the same stuff the ancestors have done. If we all did that, we'd all be like weavers and nobody'd invent new stuff or push the boundaries of anything. So he made the right choice. For right now, we are out of time for the day. It took us a while to get to that title card, but I appreciate y'all being here with me for it. Apparently this is an exploration area and it's reflected on our compass. Okay, so adventure is going to be nearby. We'll get adventure very, very soon. My name is Splattercat. This is Pine. If you wanted to get the game for yourself, i got a link for you down below. If you don't know who I am and what I do in the world of indie gaming, I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in indie games every single day so that you don't have to. I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning with something hot and fresh off the grill. And other than that, I do. And take care, everybody.